Hey, how is everybody today? I don't know why I'm talking in a weird voice. All right. Um, can you separate politics and religion? I'm going to cut right to the chase. No, you cannot. You can't. Just doesn't work. Or nobody wants to. For years, even to this very second that we are speaking, religion on both sides, your faith, is either being included or excluded. You are being persecuted or you are being exonerated based on your faith. So, now, this is not a question of right and wrong, but understand, you have to stop saying things like politi politics and religion don't belong together. You are incorrect because they do belong together to a certain degree. I do believe that. And there's no way you could ever get rid of it because no matter what faith and religion you believe in, that politician is going to fight on those bases, whether you like it or not. So it's not a matter of, well, they seem like a really great person. Let's go for them. Well, understand that at the core of it, they are going to fight for their beliefs, not yours. Understand that at the end of the day because it's natural for human beings to do that. They are on a subconscious level, for all you scientific minds out there, on a subconscious level, you make decisions that you don't immediately understand or recognize. There's a deeper meaning behind it. So you are going to have politicians who vote basically on those grounds. So, therefore, and certain, and I'm not going to say who they are, certain faiths or religions have began to understand that and have put people into places. So here's the thing understand what they stand for and don't listen to what they say understand what their beliefs are and their faith and their system whether it be uh, Christianity whether it be, be uh, someone who's a Buddha or a Hindu or uh, a Muslim from uh, from the nation of Islam you know all these things have to be understood because they make up who you are and that's the thing we'll, we'll even include agnostics or atheists they're strong core value beliefs of what they feel are their beliefs are what they're going to lean towards. It's not always what the people want. And if you think people run for office and they go in there and they do what the people want, sadly, the majority of the time that does not happen. So don't look at what they're saying or don't look at what they say they stand for. Don't listen to what they say they stand for. Understand their belief system because that's how we all operate, whether you like it or not. You judge people on your belief system or your non-belief system. I get a lot of hate from atheists because, again, I've already pointed out before, the only two people that ever show the most hate I've ever seen in this world against me is Catholics and atheists. It's just the way it is. You know, I, 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 I'll never understand the psychology behind that, especially if you don't even say anything mean about them. You know, they still will go against you. But it doesn't matter if you're an atheist or an agnostic or a Catholic. Understand what the belief system of the person you're voting for. And understand also your protest signs against Trump or your protest signs against Hillary. Does oh, I'm saying Hillary. I'm still stuck in that election um, because I keep hearing it over and over again. I'm like, that's over. Stop talking about that on Facebook. But a protest against Bernie Sanders and, and uh, Kamala Harris and all of them, Elizabeth Warren, understand those protest signs do nothing at the end of the day. They don't do anything at the end of the day. I know a lot of born-again Christians, and we do not look at these protest signs from either side. It doesn't sway us at all. You know what we do? We actually do the work. And we investigate. We see what their belief systems are. Or if they're already in office, what did they vote on? You can go right to the go govern uh, governor. Yeah, the government website. Depending on what you do, dot, uh, gov of that, and you can see their record of things they voted for or things they didn't vote for that they didn't happen to be there on that particular day. Um, I found out in the uh, primaries, the Republican primaries, Rubio conveniently missed a couple of key uh, votes. And I was at first, I kind of liked Rubio. I was a, I, I liked Carson. Uh, 
Kasich I kind of like, but, you know, it is what it is. But understand that when you're going into vote, okay? Politics and religion absolutely intermingle. So that silent majority you're talking about on the news and everywhere else and with your friends, that silent majority are the people who do actually the research, who actually know what they're talking about a lot of times, who actually look at the past, the history, and what is the, is the past and what is repeating itself. So do politics and religion belong together? Whether you like it or not, it does. God bless. Have an awesome day.